Hi everyone and welcome to this year's Academic Interest Awards for the year 2020-2021. This is our sixth year running the awards and after the year we've had we thought it'd be great to get an award ceremony together, albeit online, and give some special mentions and some massive thank yous to people that have worked and gone above and beyond this year. I'll now pass over to Chris. Hi everyone and welcome, like Chelsea said, to the Academic Interest Award for 2021. This year we've introduced some special mentions because of how great everyone has been doing during these difficult and different times. Your work and commitment to students has not gone unnoticed and we'd like to say thank you for this. You can see all the nominations and special mentions in our academic interest booklet, which is available on our website and also in the link within the chat box. I'll now hand over back to Chelsea for our first award. Thank you all for attending and I hope you enjoy. Thanks, Chris. Our first award this afternoon is the Inspiring Teaching Award. Just to mention that all of our award nominations are put in by students and students also decided the winners. So the entire process is student led, which is something we pride ourselves on. So Inspiring Teaching, this is for an academic who makes a significant contribution to your academic experience, be it through teaching, assessment and feedback practices, responding to student feedback or exceptional teaching. We had a lot of nominations for this award this year. So let's remind ourselves of the special mentions. Here we've got Verity Adriana, Ricardo Baker, Amanda Jefferson, Anne-Marie Mealy, Julian Pereira, Edward Podesta, Clary Smith, Alison Torn and Samantha Wilkes. But now we'll roll on to the nominations. So here you'll see we've got Christine Habib, James Jackson, Kate Lister and Richard Storer. Below each of the names is their nomination. So you can, I'll just give you a second to read through that and you can see why their students think they're so amazing. All of this information can be found in the booklet as well. So we'll wait for a second, just give it a dramatic pause before we announce the winner. And the winner is applause. Kate Lister, congratulations, Kate. It's clear to see from your nomination you've done some amazing work this year. I know that you always go above and beyond for all of your students, so congratulations to everybody that wins in our Academic Interest Awards today. Myself and Lucy will be in touch about your awards. Um, obviously, with COVID at the minute, we're not entirely sure when you'll be receiving them but you all have a travel mug if you receive the nomination and you'll get a certificate and then a little something else as well. So keep your eyes peeled on your emails after the event. And now I'll pass back over to Chris. Hi everyone and um, our next award is the Personal Tutor of the Year Award. An award for the personal tutor who makes students lives better through their pastoral role. They have ensured that students get their support they need and whether to, this is to do with their academic studies or reasons outside of the lecture halls. So let's remind ourselves of some of the special mentions. We have Michelle Dalton, Jane DeGay, David Dodd, Cameron Downing, Sarah Flanagan, Darren Harper, Camilla Pratt, John Radcliffe and Chris Rowley. A round of applause for our special mentions who have been specially mentioned. We're moving on and have a reminder of our nominees. We have Vanessa Sawyer for Personal Tutor of the Year, Paul Smith and Megan Stevenson. I'll just read out a short glimpse of each one. So Vanessa is always kind and caring and a problem solver. She never underestimates students' abilities and involves all students. Paul Smith, Paul has supported both mental health and academic progress this year, constantly supporting students and others through his duties and um, being his duties and particularly tough year. And Megan for never hesitating to do everything she can to support and encourage students and taught students how to always look after themselves and put themselves first during these tough times. Again, thank you to these personal tutors for all the hard work and supporting our students. But a dramatic pause for our winner. A virtual drum roll, please. And the winner is. Vanessa Suya, congratulations, Vanessa. As we said, students said they never underestimate their ability and you involve all students. Thank you very much for all the hard work you've done this year and uh, I'm sure um, we'll get the award to you as soon as we can. Um, and I'll now pass back over to Chelsea for our next award. Thanks Chris. 
The next award we'll be looking at is professional staff member. So this is for someone outside of the classroom who makes student lives at Leeds Trinity brilliant. This might be a technician, school admin, member of the catering staff or someone else who has made a significant experience on the student experience. Let's move forward to our nominations. So for professional staff member, we've got Christopher Hume and Sarah Todd. Chris has been recognised for being an amazing member of staff who does so much for the LGBTQ plus community at university and Sarah working the extra mile to provide students with sports and activities. So we'll just give it a brief second to build the dramatic tension. And then roll on to the winner. Drum roll, please. And congratulations, Chris. Absolutely outstanding. Always willing to put in 100% and going the extra mile for the students. Massive, massive congratulations. And as we said, we'll let you know what the uh, award situation is <laughs> when we've got everything figured out. We can't wait for everybody to be back on campus and hopefully be able to give those to you when it's safe to do so. And now I'll pass back over to Chris. Hello again. Next up we have the Service or Department of the Year Award. An award for the service who has supported you and other students around you. They may have been a extreme contribution to your time at university or supported you at the point where you put of need. And they constantly demonstrate that they have students at the heart of what they do. Let's have a reminder of the nominees. We have the Learning Hub. The Learning Hub has been so, so supportive and accommodating this year. Even though things are being moved online, they've still made sure we still feel supported and engaged. And we have Lee's Trinity Student Union. Ourselves, the SU have helped my mental health this year and all the staff are, are so friendly. Chris and Chelsea have always offered time and checked in to see if there was anything else in need I needed. Everything they do is for students. My course work from the SU has been brilliant this year. Again, thank you to Lane Hub for everything they've done and a thank you to all the staff and Chelsea and myself um, for everything we do. But we need a winner. So dramatic pause, virtual drum roll. And the winner is we have both won. It has been said that the panel could not choose between the two. The panel felt that both the student and um, sorry, both the Lane Hub and the SU were so good at what they've been doing this year and that they both deserve to be highly commended for this award. So thank you again to the Lane Hub and thank you to all my colleagues at Lee Street Student Junior Fund supporting students wherever they can. I'll pass back over to Chelsea. Thanks, Chris. So the next award is Student Employee of the Year. This is for a student who's also a staff member and makes the student experience extra special through their work. They might provide service with a smile at one of the catering facilities or support students through a more pastoral or academic role. So let's have a look at the nominees. So this year we have two nominees for Student Employee of the Year. The first being Rebecca Spilsbury. She works so hard in each and every shift. She pushes to make it the best experience for all students and makes quiz nights very fun. Been an honour working alongside her this year. Always great when we have nominations from our student staff that love working alongside each other. And it's great to see how close everybody becomes. The second is for Rachel Ward, our VP elect. Rachel took every opportunity to work this year and delivered exceptional service in every role from working in studio to delivering posts and packages across campus. She's always happy to help and provide for students. A massive thank you to Rebecca and Rachel for this year and all the effort you've put in through such a challenging time. Now let's move on to the result. And the winner is. The both of you. <laughs> Again, the student panel just couldn't quite choose between the two. You've both gone above and beyond, put every bit of effort and energy in that you've had to make sure that the students have somewhat close to a normal experience this year and gone out of your way to make sure that everybody feels inclusive and welcome. So a massive thank you to the both of you and congratulations. Now I'll pass back to Chris for the next award. Thank you, Chelsea. Our next award is the Student Employee of the Year which is for a department or person on campus who employs students and makes it an enjoyable experience. They might be particularly considered of the student commitments that happen alongside the student staff role, or they might do something special to make students feel like they're part of their staff team. Whatever it is, it makes them feel, spe makes them feel special and students find working with this employer worthwhile. Let's have a reminder of the nominees. We have Lee Trinity Student Union. The SU provided me with work from September and continue to offer shifts during the diff different tiers in many ways. They are easy to speak to and have kept us on furlough to make sure we can pay bills and rent. 
they care about the students they employ. And we also have Trinity Fitness, despite all the disruption from COVID, I've always been able to feel like a valued team member. They always try to find work for us to do, or at least keep us updated when we have had to close. I'm grateful for all the support they give inside and outside of work hours. I love the atmosphere that Trinity Fitness has within the team. So I have a dramatic pause as we announce our winner. And the winner is Lee Student Student Union. Congratulations to our staff team again. Um, students appreciate the amount of work the SU staff put into providing for ships during difficult tiers and I felt they are cared about as they are employed. Again, thank you to the staff who employ our students and support them within their roles. Pass back over to, oh, it's back over to myself for our next award. Chelsea, you'll have to wait for your turn, sorry. The next award is for Student Experience Award, which is for someone who adds to the student experience either in or out of the lecture halls. It is for someone who goes the extra mile, making students' lives special at least Trinity. Let's remind ourselves of some of the special mentions. Our special mentions go to Debbie Langrid and Rob Thornton Lee. Congratulations for your nominations and special mentions. But our nominees are myself <laughs> has been nominated. Thank you very much. Um, it is described as he is Lee's Trinity and has made mine and I know a lot of other students experience better. I can't think of anyone who deserves this more than him. Chris has always gone the extra mile no matter the time of day. Thank you, Chris, for everything you've done whilst being vice president. You've really made a difference. I'd like to thank him, our person who's nominated myself. I don't feel too awkward at all. <laughs> um, and Chelsea, congratulations. You've been nominated. Whether I was feeling homesick or sad, Chelsea would make time to call me over Teams or help me in any way that she could. She also helped me get in contact with my personal tutor when I was falling behind on my work to make sure I got the help I need. And Pauline Langley, thank you, you've been nominated as well. Whether I need extra information or support, Pauline was always there to help. She goes above and beyond making sure I had any resources I needed or guidance during my first year. Not only this, she has always has a smile on her face, pre-mask of course, and without fail, she could make my day into a better one. This year has been difficult for everyone, so thank you for Pauline. Thank you to Chelsea and Pauline, for all the hard work and to making our student experience a slightly better during these hard times. Um, but we can only have a winner. So dramatic pause. Um, I have a feeling I know who this might be. And the winner is. It wasn't me. Chelsea Gooby, congratulations, Chelsea. Thank you again for all the hard work. Like, like everyone says, I know especially, you do go out your way for anyone and everyone. Um, and it's, it's great to see the students do see that. And you're always the helping hand. And again, outside of the office, outside work hours, you're always there to help the students. On behalf of everyone, uh, thank you very much and continue your hard work into next year as well. And now I will get to finally pass on to yourself for the next award. Over to you, Chelsea. Thanks, Chris. Um, thank you for the nomination and thank you to the students who obviously did the shortlisting for the award. Chris, I'm happy to share it with you. Um, you have gone above and beyond over the last two years, so a thank you from me as well, not to get too sentimental. Um, but you have really gone out of your way for the students and they obviously see that. So you will be missed, Cheers, uh, Chris. dearly. <laughs> but now we'll move on to the final award, which is Student Rep of the Year. So this award is for a student who's represented student views to either the university or the student's union to improve the student experience at Leeds Trinity. They may participate in meetings to get the student voice heard or ensure that your feedback is listened to at other levels to make student life better. Let's have a reminder of the nominees. So we've got two for Student Rep of the Year. We've got Rachel Powell and Samuel Wright. So Rachel has been really successful running campaigns this year alongside the President and VP, working with other members of council to make big changes and make the uni more accessible and inclusive. Sam has gone above and beyond as a course rep and is always willing to help others. He's shown real passion for his role and has done an amazing job representing the students. I've personally worked with both of these this year. They've been absolutely fab. Can't thank them enough for their continued support and work, especially during this difficult time. So a massive congratulations to the both of you for your nominations. And let's see who the winner is. Again, we couldn't pick between the two, so you're both winners. Congratulations, Rachel and Sam. Thank you for all of your hard work this year. I hope you've enjoyed the experience and you'll take the skills that you've gained and put them to another use next year. 
And I'm only pulling you like there is another award that wasn't our final one. I just wanted to try and get a reaction out of Chris since it's his first time seeing the Sustainability Award at the Academic Interest Awards. So now we'll move on to sustainability. So Sustainability Champion of the Year. This award is for the student or staff member who's championed sustainability in either their learning or teaching. This could be through volunteering work or by ensuring that sustainable development is embedded into a course at Trinity. So let's have a look at our nominees. And of course, the two people we'd expect to see everything sustainable at Trinity, we've got Mr Chris Dow. I'd have been disappointed if you weren't there, Chris, I'll be honest. Chris has championed sustainability since the beginning in his role as VP. This year he banned single use plastics at the union. I know we've seen that taken to council and trustees. So a massive thank you for that, Chris, looking after the environment. And Laura took on many roles in her final year of university, including sustainability officer. Although she's been busy with many roles, she's managed to put through some campaigns. For example, the Peary Cups campaign, which are more sustainable than tampons, helping the university become more sustainable. And Laura has helped everybody individually over this year if they've reached out to us. So a massive thank you to both of our nominees for champion sustainability when they've been so busy. So we'll just give it a few seconds to build the tension. I know as Chris is very excited to find out whether he's won an award or not. And the winner is the both of you, the power couple. Congratulations to Chris and Laura. Thank you for all of your continued efforts this year. We know that the pair of you have done loads of collaborative work alongside myself, the rest of the SU staff and council. So a massive thank you to you for helping us become more sustainable and also for helping us achieve the highest grading in NUS's Green Impact Award. Anything from you, Chris? Just a massive thank you um, to anyone who has nominated myself and Valora. Um, I'm sure my partner in crime will snatch that award off me. <laughs> um, but no, thank you to everyone. Uh, thank you for all our, all our students who have nominated any anyone and everyone. Um, a massive thank you for all the submissions. It's been lovely to read them and it's really just going to show during these hard times that people have gone the extra mile to help and support our students. Um, and well done to all our winners. Um, and a welcome to all our nominees and special mentions too. Um, your work has not gone unnoticed. Yeah, definitely. Um, thank you to all of the students that have put in nominations this year. Thank you to our shortlisting panel who gave their time to read through all the nominations and see all of the amazing work that everybody's been doing at Trinity this year, or rather at home from their spare bedrooms or actual bedrooms, as the case may be for me and Chris. Um, but a massive thank you to everyone for joining us. We hope you get involved again next year if you're returning. Make sure to keep in mind from this point on who your nominations will be for next year. All of the information for nominations and special mentions can be found on the website under Student Voice and Academic Interest Awards, so check that out. And if you've missed part of the event, the recording will also be online for people to watch back. So from myself and from Chris, a massive thank you and we hope to see you soon. Thank you and good night everyone. Bye.